<laughs> We're gonna try something stupid today. <laughs> If one Wolf River Coils will get you on 80 meters, would not two get you on 160 meters? We're gonna try this out today. Uh, terrible idea, I don't expect it to work very well, but it came up in uh, the Ham Radio Adventure Guys uh, live stream the other day in the chat. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it a shot and see, uh, see if we can tune it up even. And uh, if we can, maybe we'll throw some whisper out. It's literally uh, one o'clock on Friday, Black Friday. So I have no expectations of actually getting any contact, but I'm a ham and I'm curious. So let's do some science. So here's everything I brought out. I got the two Wolf River Coils Silver Bullet 1000s. Actually, this is the Platinum one. This is the regular and uh, 17 foot whip. This is actually the Wolf River Coils, a little bit longer than 17 foot whips. We got the, the mega tripod legs, whole bunch of radials. I've got, these are the the three 33 foot radials that come with it. And then these are the bunches that I made. These are bunches of, I think four or five, five, uh, th what are they? Three and a half meter um, radials there. So shorter, but more. And hopefully that's enough. If not, we've got the Sporty 40 we can add. And we also have a Silver Bullet Mini. So <laughs> let's see what happens. So as a control, I set up the Silver Bullet Platinum with the 17 foot whip and wanted to see where it was gonna be uh, just on the SWR uh, scale. We were about 1.31 to one, pretty much right in the middle of the band. And bandwidth isn't terrible. We're not gonna get the entire band, but pretty, uh, pretty wide enough for if you just want the phone portion or, or the lower uh, you know, digital CW portion. So I think I'm gonna put this coil way down here and then add the other coil, use this one for uh, inductance, and then see how much uh, of the tap we'll have to use of the other uh, Silver Bullet 1000 and see uh, what happens to that bandwidth and how, uh, one, if it'll tune up, and two, how high the Q is. So let's get dumber every day. Load that guy up. All right, and then, we can screw the other Wolf River coil into one another and make mega coil. <laughs> All right, hold on to your butts. 160 meters, here we come. And just look at how freaking cool that looks. I don't care if it works, it's cool enough. <laughs> okay, so check this out. I didn't even tune anything yet. You can see we're still where we were a second ago. And uh, we've got a pretty good dip there. So <laughs> this might actually work, very high Q, but let me tune it up and see what we can do. So we're a little short. I'm gonna bring this guy down a little bit more. See what that does. Still short. Let's load this baby up. Let's see, where are we resonant? It's coming down. We got 1.1 to zero at 2.2 megahertz, so. Bring her down a little bit more. That might have just did it. Nope. A little bit more. Ooh, it's just above the band. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. 1.5 to 1 at the top of the band. Let me lower it a little bit more. 1.12 to 1 at 1.916. We've, we've got a few kilohertz there of bandwidth. Let's zoom out a little bit here, or zoom in. That's a pretty high Q there. So we've got, let's see here. Let's go to 1.8, or 1.99, top of the band there. So we're six to one there. So at 1.96, we're 2.8. So let's say under three to one is where we're shooting. So 1.96, let's go to 1.9. 2.2, so what's that, about 70 kilohertz of bandwidth there? <laughs> hey, that's usable. 
and check this out. We are literally using like all of the coil darn near on the bottom one and most of the coil on the top one and a 17 foot whip. So, you know, it's no different than a ham stick really. So let's, uh, I mean, we have to try this, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook this up to the radio, see if anything's happening on Whisper and <laughs> just why not, right? <laughs> all right, so I adjusted the coil to uh, the whisper frequency, which is 1836, and we're 1.21 to one there. So I think we can make this happen. I did have to move the coils down a bit more, so it's pretty much bottomed out on both of those collars, <laughs> but it's working so far. All right, so we're transmitting next on whisper. We're probably not gonna have any luck, but we're gonna we're gonna transmit a couple times and then I've got whispernet.org pulled up here, see if we can get any spots picked up. And uh, he, like I said, it's, uh, it's quarter to two now and I have no expectations of making any uh, contacts, but hey, it's all in the name of the science. I've got the radio set to 20% power, which on the meter shows, I don't know, probably 10, 15 watts, I don't know. But uh, that's what we're gonna put out, so we shall see. There's no SWR on the meter to be heard of, so, you know, the, the coils, I'm sure, are eating up all of our power. <laughs> but this is great. All right, we're transmitting. No ALC, no SWR. Looking good. All right, first transmission's done. I'm gonna do one more, and then we'll go take a look at whispernet.org. All right, two complete two minute whisper transmissions on 160 meters in the middle of the day. Are you as excited as I am to find out the results? The coils are not hot. They're still cold. All right, let's hop over to whispernet.org. Let's hit update here. Cross our fingers. <laughs> Zero spots. <laughs> Man, you'd think of all the whisper stations out there listening that you'd get something. But no, where's refresh? Let's hit refresh. Nothing. Nothing. Nobody heard me. Wah, wah, wah. Oh well. Well, we got the results that I expected, but the fun thing was this actually worked. We got a really low SWR. Not as bad a bandwidth as I would have expected. Like I said, it's in the middle of the day, 160 meters isn't open. I'd be curious uh, what this would do at nighttime. Well, slow your roll there, son, because that's exactly what I did the next day. I took the exact same setup, uh, except I used my K-Murder Death Spike instead of the Wolf River Coils tripod. Set up exactly the same thing in my front yard. I waited till nighttime. It was about 7.30 p.m. Central when I did these tests, and on Whisper, I was, when I was transmitting, I got 21 spots over two uh, two minute transmissions. I only heard one station and that was actually, I heard him while I was setting up before I even really started my two minute transmit and receive session, but still got out here. You can see the map of where we were getting out. So that was pretty cool. It worked. And then I hopped over to FT hate and I ended up working three stations there. I got November five Quebec Sierra in Arkansas and I got November four Mike Juliet in Tennessee, although I did not get his 73. So eh, does that really count? We'll we'll call it a win for this test. Who cares? And then I got Whiskey Delta Zero Juliet in Kansas. So this worked. Let's go back to the field now. What a fun experience. That's the whole point of ham radio. Get out, have fun, try things. If you have questions, try it. Find out, see if it works. That is the name of the game. Guys, thanks so much for watching this ridiculous episode of Ham Radio Tube, and we will see you again next time. Thanks, 73 guys.